Yes, yes, y'all. To the beat, y'all. Now I'm just playing. I ain't about to rap. I got a couple more questions. A lot of people from a hip hop game website, a lot of bloggers or people who love to be on the internet all day instead of studying, instead of trying to go to college, instead of uh, reading books, instead of doing something other than be on the internet, is on the internet and they have questions for me. Let me answer some of those questions. Word up. And some of the questions y'all have for me. And uh, we're going to keep it going. Know what I mean? Somebody asked me, first before I start doing this, I want to give a shout out to all my Queensbridge peoples again. Uh, we had a really good game yesterday in Orlando. Played against Superman. And uh, Superman and Yao Ming was going at it. It was a really good game. We got Superman in foul trouble. And he... Um, came back in the game, he got picked up his fourth foul in the second half, had to sit back down. You know, so that kind of helped us a little bit, because Superman, he was dunking your head hard. But Yao Ming was, uh, he was also a superhero yesterday, too. He was doing some unbelievable stuff at the height of 7'6". Seven, seven, you know, so he did his thing yesterday. Great game. I did a little better. I was 0% um, from the free throw line. You know, um, missed about seven shots. You know, uh, Caught a spasm dunk on a breakaway. Um, I got dunked on. So basically, had a bad day. But we won. You know what I mean? College football. There was a lot of big games yesterday. A lot of uh, excitement in the college world. I wasn't um, that into college because I wanted to see a playoffs. I wanted to see a champion at the end of the season. So I'm not a real big college football fan I'm more like a college basketball during March Madness. I mean, I'm not a big college guy. I would like to see the playoffs in college and let there be one champion, not ten champions. You know, or they go in there, flip a coin, do some mathematics, and they pick who's a champion or whatever they do. I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, but it's all good and fun as long as we got another uh, Terrell Owens coming out or another Tom Brady coming out of college. Good luck to all the college football players. Do your thing, baby. My favorite rookie so far in the NBA got to be, uh, it got to be Derrick Rose because he got hops, he a point guard, he doing, he can shoot a little bit, he going to get better, and I know he'll be ready in playoff time. He led Memphis to only two losses, in the, and they would have won the championship if my boy Dorsey didn't foul out. Shout out to D. Rose. Uh, I also like O.J. Mayo. He got NBA game. At first, I thought he was a little too short, you know, to get it done at the shooting guard position, but when he hit me with like three jumpers in my face, I'm like, oh, this kid is ready. So shout out to Mayo. Shout out to Beasley. Beasley's doing what, doing good. Uh, he's um, he's putting in work, you know, and uh, shout out to him in the MIA, where we at right now. We just flew from Orlando last night right to the MIA. We had a day off, so that's always a blessing to have a day off, especially in Miami. Maybe we can catch Will Smith doing a welcome to Miami video, you know, something like that, you know. Catch Rick Ross, you know, riding down the bends or something, you know. I don't know. You never know what you're going to see in the MIA. Only thing I don't want to see is a hurricane. Got to respect my nature, you know what I mean? And the people wanted to get an update on my music. Still having fun with the music. You know, uh, my artist is actually doing a video today in Miami, an internet video. You know, we're not doing it big. Not like Puff Daddy with the bottles and pouring Cristal, like Dame Dash pouring Cristal over the girls' heads and everything. Nah, we ain't going to do none of that. Simple video with my man Jordan Tao from WorldStarHipHop.com. Uh, you know, so we're keeping it hip-hop. We're going to do a video with him today, about three videos. I mean, we in Coconut Grove right now in Miami. They still got sirens and police around. I don't know what's going on. But sometimes you can't escape the drama. You know what I mean? Anyway... I'm still putting out music. Look out for the video I did with my little daughters, my 11-year-old daughter and my 5-year-old daughter, my 9-year-old son. Look out for the video I did with them. Uh, my 7-year-old son, he also does music too. Look out for the video. It's coming out really, really soon. I actually got a couple videos on the internet leaking, you know, just having fun, staying busy. I sold 343 units first week about three years ago. That was unsuccessful, but successful for me. What I need you and fans to do is help me to sell 344 units first week so I can shut all the haters up.
Everybody saying, yo, he only sold 343 units the first week. All right, this time I sold 344. So what you're going to hear about now? We still putting out music because we love to do it. But it's more, um, it's more bigger than Ron Artest. It's about my artists, too. So wait for the artists. They got real good music. Chalice. Uh, we just posted a song up. It's called Zone Out with Chalice and AKA, well, actually, Ruck, AKA Mr. QB, AKA The Jackal. Those two guys right there, two artists from Queens, from Vernon, they got a song on Hip Hop Game right now. And Foul Monday, watch out for Foul Monday. He's about to have a song on Hip Hop Game too, just for you people to hear. Um, they really worked hard with the music. Shout out to Big Cat. He's a worldwide warrior also. I'm a worldwide warrior. Chalice, Mr. QB, Foul Monday's a, world, a worldwide warrior. And if you want to be a worldwide warrior, holla at your boy. You got to be a real dude, respect people, you know, um, no fakeness, you know. Um, and if the last thing I'm going to say on this blog right here, this is about six minutes of your time. And I want to, you know, let y'all let your people do y'all thing, let y'all go on with y'all day. Last thing I'm going to say, when I go out, I'm getting tired of people saying my jeans is too baggy. All right. And I, I'm blaming a lot of people who's wearing the tight stuff because... It's making me not be able to get into certain nice, elegant spots. You know what I'm saying? With my hat to the back. Um, maybe my pants sag just a little bit and my pants is baggy, you know? And I'm a, I'm a bummy dresser. Like, I can't dress like that. But when I do go out to the club or to a lounge or somewhere, I don't want to have to wear tight pants. I can't do it. You know what I mean? So all you uh, club owners and body security guards and bouncers, let me in. Let me in. I'm not wearing tight jeans. I want to get in with my pants, my jeans, and I'm a, I'm about a 40 on my waist, and my, I'm about 40 or 38 in the length, and my pants is going to be baggy, and I want to get in. I will not wear tight jeans, okay, just to get into your club. And I blame all the people who's dealing with this and putting up with it, and it's messing it up for people who just want to dress regular. Since when... Has it not been cool to be hood? I'm going to end on that note. I love everybody. Peace.